Hello, I'm James, and in this video, we will learn how to create user form. We will create a table using VBA. We will create table fields also using VBA, and we will add person in the person table like Bongbong Marcos, Lenny Robredo, and Manny Pacquiao. We will display the person list on the table username form using continuous form. The name of the list which we will be creating is LSTTBL persons, and the name of the form which we will be creating is FRM persons. We will create also uh, several uh, fields in the table like person ID, person name, person type, address 1, address 2, and address 3. And after creating the table, we will insert list of persons like Bongbong Marcos, Lenny Robredo, and Manny Pacquiao. Please hold on. Let me open my text editor. So what we will do in this uh, video is we will create tables using DAO. We will create table name LST TBL persons with the following fields person ID, person name, person type, customers, employee, uh, supplier, tenants, and we will create also address 1, address 2, and, and address 3. Let's type option explicit. So after option explicit, we will create some tables and fields using DAO. Create table and fields using DAO. So after creating uh, fields, we will create table definition. After defining our uh, table, we will create field definition. After uh, creating field definition, we are going to add the fields to the table. Then after adding the table to the database and the fields to the table, we will refresh the table and database. So let's create our code. So our code will uh, start with the sub statement public sub let's create table underscore DAO and the end of our code always end with end sub so let's let's create table definition but first after, uh, before creating the table definition let us first create the table and fields using addo so let's declare db as DAO dot database let's declare dim table definition as DAO dot table definition def Let's declare dim fld field id as dao dot field fld underscore name as dao dot field fld underscore type uh, this is name underscore type as dao dot field so name fld name should this should be capital let's also declare fld underscore add addr address one as dao dot field fld addr two as DAO dot field FLD underscore ADDR3 as DAO field. Then let us set DB is equal to current database. Then after setting the current database, let us now create table definition. So the name of the table is table name is equal to what is our table name? L ST underscore TBL persons. So let us set TDF table definition is equal to DB dot rate table definition. And what is the table definition? The table name is LST underscore TBL underscore underscore persons. Then let us now create the field definition. So for the, the field definition, let us set under space FLD underscore ID is equal to TDF dot create field and on the table we will name this field as persons ID as DB long. After setting the FLD ID, let us now define the attributes FLD underscore ID dot attributes is equal to DB auto increment field. And let us set this as FLD underscore ID dot required is equal to true. Let us also define our uh, name. So set FLD underscore name is equal to TDF dot create field. So the name of the pers the field is person underscore name DB text. So after defining the field name FLD underscore name dot allow zero length is equal to false. FLD underscore name dot required is equal to true. So let's copy this and uh, implement this on the other on the other uh, variables. TD, T, FLD name underscore type is equal to uh, person. Let's delete the person. Let's change this to persons person type persons type so this should be person's name so in the person's type required 
Yes, it is required. Let us also set the address uh, 1 to 3. Control V, 3. So, create field FLD ADDR1. ADDR2. ADDR3. So, this should be ADDR1. ADDR2. This should be A address line 3. So, we are now able to set our fields. So, after setting our fields, we can now add the table to the database. Sorry, add the fields to the uh, table. So let's uh, table definition tdf dot fields dot append fld id. Let's copy this. One C. So we are we are going to copy two four six. So one two three four five six. So fld id fld name fld name underscore type after name we have here fld addr1 addr2 addr3 then after uh, defining table uh, the field definition and we, we are now able to add then let us uh, refresh so let us add the table to the database so let us add now the table to the database so it should be db dot uh, table defs that append tda so we are now going to refresh the table db the table defs definition that refresh so we have here application that refresh database window and let us set to nothing our variables set fld underscore id equals to nothing set fld underscore name equals to nothing so we have here fld name we have here fld name type then we have here fld addr1 fld addr2 fld ADDR3, FLD, ADDR. Okay, done. Then let us set table definition is equal to nothing. Let us set DB is equal to nothing. Then after executing all these codes, let's see if it reaches this stage. Let us randomly check the code and see if the spelling is correct. So set DB, nothing. This should be H with H, nothing. This should be ADDR3. Okay, let's go up. It should be ADDR1, ADDR2, ADDR3. Okay, so I think everything is now correct. Okay, for the refresh, let's remove the letter L. Should be refresh. Let me open access. Click blank database. Let's rename this as db underscore persons. Click create. I will delete the table. Let us create a form. Click create and blank form. Let me first copy the code which we created earlier and let us execute the code to create a table. Let us in insert a module. And in this module, we will copy and paste the VBA code. And after copying the VBA code, let us run this code. Click run. And let's see if the table is already created. And the table is already here. Let us open the table by double clicking. And let us verify if the fields are complete. And everything is there. Address, name, type, and ID is there. Let us insert the persons in the person table so let me insert bongbong marcos person type one address ilocos norte and address two is philippines let us also insert lenny robredo and lenny robredo uh, type is two and let us uh, put his address camarines sur address two is philippines let us add also mani pacquiao mani pacquiao from general santos an address Philippines and let us rename the form into form persons let us add the table fields in the user form but first let us enable the header and footer by double clicking and then let us double click the fields person ID person name type and address and let us format by right clicking and, and clicking layout tabular and right click layout and then remove the layout let us make the form uh, look good let us proceed formatting the label headers by selecting the headers label and make it color black for the background and yellow for the font let us run the form and let us add one more 
person, person name Robin Padilla, person type number two, and address Baguio City. And if you like this video, please uh, share, like, and subscribe for you to be updated with my upcoming videos. Thank you and God bless.